Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to just practice with division that's not exact, practice with the remainders. First, I need to show you another symbol for division, and it is this thingy here. We have 28 divided by 4. The answer is 7. It gets written here on top of this line, on top of the symbol. I like to think of it as a division corner from the Finnish word. It's basically the number you're dividing goes inside the corner, so to speak. And here we have 44 divided by 4. That's 11. And we write it like this, okay? 11 right on top of the 44. Over here, 81 divided by 9. The answer is 9. Don't write it on top of the tens digit here, but on top of the ones digit right there, okay? This division corner comes in handy when we have uneven division. And I'll show you how. Here we have 32 divided by 5. You need to think how many 5s are in 32? Or how many times does 5 go into 32? The answer is 6 times, right? 6 times 5 equals 30. And 7 times 5 would be more than 32. So 6 times. And I write the 6 here, that's a basic answer. Then I multiply 6 times 5 equals 30 and write it under here. So I'm gonna get ready to subtract, okay? Like that. I'm ready to subtract now. 32 minus 30 equals 2. And that is my remainder. The answer is therefore 6 remainder 2. Let's try that again. 23 divided by 3. How many 3's are there in 23? Or how many times does 3 go into 23? Okay, you remember 7 times 3 equals 21. 8 times 3 is 24. That's too much. So 7 times. There are 7 3's in 23. 7 times 3 is 21, like I said. And now we subtract to find the remainder. Because the remainder was the difference of these two, right? Okay, how many sixes are in 51? No, Matthew knows. Yeah, 8. 8 times 6 is 48. And subtract 3 to find the remainder. Okay, so that's pretty easy, right? Try these last three yourself first, okay? Matthew, you wanna? Okay, come on, come on. How many fives in 44? Right, eight fives, and then? Eight times five, yep. There you go, try the next one. How many eights in 37? Four eights, right, that's correct. Okay, four times eight, yeah, that's correct too. Oh, you're doing good, Matthew. Keep on going. One more. How many nines in 62? Hmm, you remember your nines pretty good? 7 times 9 is 63. So, no, it must be, yep, 6 times 9. Alright, I think Matthew got them all correct, did you? 